What's going on guys? My name's Legendary Lee and welcome to my game room. That's right guys, we're going to go on a full-fledged tour of my game room including all my collectibles and uh, different systems and whatnot, and um, yeah, it should be pretty fun. If you're new here, uh, my name's Legendarily. I do all sorts of uh, Pokemon trading card game videos on this channel. So if you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. If you're not, don't don't worry about it because you, you're probably not going to be interested. But yeah, I just wanted to give a another tour of my game room. I did one last year in July, the 2020 game room tour. If you want to check that out and see how much has changed from last year's video. Uh, I watched it before this, and it's pretty interesting. It's crazy to see how much has changed, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this tour. All right, so we're going to start the tour in the hallway because the first thing you notice as you get to the door is above the doorway, have a nice custom back of a uh, Jacksonville Jaguars jersey my wife got me for my birthday, I believe. So that's the first thing you see when you're coming in to the room. So then we open the door here, and you start to see all the magic. And we'll take a look. We'll, we'll go from left to right. So... We'll start with this left wall here, which last year was the barest thing in this entire room. It just had this giant Florida State uh, poster here. But since then, I have added, for all my Pokemon TCG fans out there, all of the Elite Trainer Boxes of all the sets that I've opened. They're all up there. Um, I've obviously opened multiple of each of some of these sets. But yeah, went ahead and decided to display those because I had them just stored in a... You know, uh, closet somewhere and I'd wanted to put them out on display so there's that moving on to the next item on this wall we have the we are Florida State 2016 uh, poster we've got some key players on this we've got Darwin James of the Los Angeles Los Angeles Chargers really good safety and of course Dalvin Cook all pro running back for the Minnesota Vikings both signed that as well as various other signatures uh, Super Bowl champion right here Derek Nadi uh, Kansas City Chiefs and uh, Jimbo Fisher at the top but Nothing else really of note. A bunch of players that didn't really <laughs> make it in the NFL. Um, so let's go down here to my um, my seating situation. We have a respawn. Not sure what the model is, but it's just a, re a respawn chair. Really cool. I love this chair a lot. Um, we've got a uh, handle here. Makes it go recline like so. And this uh, leans back almost like to a full 180 degrees and you can lean it back pretty far but obviously I can't because the wall is back here but uh, I love this chair I've had it for about a year now and it's very very nice I love it uh, and then next here this is just a container full of random um, Pokemon card stuff that I have and it's where I store like my snacks whenever I have snacks in here I'll just put them on top of that and this little thing that's cool it's like I like a like, like a faux carbon fiber print on it put some storage in there it was like 20 bucks maybe at Walmart actually a pretty solid deal if you need some storage I, I recommend it really goes it really matches the uh, this pattern um, over there you see it's very similar that's why I ended up getting it over here to the right we have some custom drawings that were done for me um, my one of my friends girlfriend she draws and sells sticker on Etsy and she drew some of these things of some of my favorite characters from different shows and whatnot. So yeah, those are all hand drawn. General Grievous, uh, Zuka Midoriya. We've got Avatar Aang, and of course Asuna. So really cool, really cool. As we move on to the next part of the tour, this is probably I don't know. I really love this shelf a lot. This is my Star Wars Legos shelf. Um, I'm a huge Lego fan, but really just Star Wars Legos because I don't really build anything else besides Star Wars Legos. So if we start up here at the top, we've got a collection of various minifigures that have come with all my sets throughout the years. Um, very cool. I really love uh, the way some of the figures look. I think my favorite one is probably the Embo right there in the middle with the hat. Love Embo, one of my favorite Star Wars characters. We have the um, right here, First Order Star Destroyer. This is uh, Knights of Ren. Uh, transport ship, I think is what it's called. I'm not sure exactly. Down here we have the Pre Vizsla Mandalorian Starfighter. Um, obviously, we have the Millennium Falcon. Down here on this next shelf, we have Luke's Landspeeder. 
next to General Grievous and his little ship. I'm not really exactly sure what that is. Over here we have a, an Imperial shuttle and then a bounty hunter ship. This is the one that came with some bounty hunters and Embo. Really love that one. And down here we have <laughs> little Annie and his, um, gosh, what is this called? All right, and I'm back because I could not remember what this thing is called. <laughs> it is a pod racer and it took me about 10 seconds to think of it and I don't know why I couldn't think of it, but that's little Anakin and his starfighter. Oh my gosh, his pod racer. See, you can't even say it right now. Uh, we've got a little head of a stormtrooper got for my birthday last year, pretty cool. And then we've got Director Krennic's ship, really solid. And I actually have the, the Mandalorian's Razor Crest. That's actually coming in the mail today, so we'll have a spot for that probably down here on the bottom shelf. But let's get down to the bottom shelf now. And we have this custom uh, Legendary Lee light-up sign. It actually cycles through colors, which I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it's just starting to get purple now, and it's going to fade to, like, red or something. And then down here, we have some more Star Wars stuff. A collector set of Pez with various collectors i think this is from like 2006 or something really cool and then we've got a, a child down there but yeah that is my star wars legos I, I mainly build ships as you can see i'm not really a big fan of just like scenes or sets I, i'm a big ship builder so that's what we got on this shelf over here and over here on the this wall there's actually there's a window here which um takes up a good bit of space but above the window we have some anime figures. We have what well, we have: two Asuna figures and a Izuku Midoriya figure. I'm trying to get a good view of it. I'm like holding the camera way up above my head so, <laughs> so you can see it. But put that shelf up there a couple days ago, actually. So that's pretty new. And then over here, another one of my favorite shelves, which there aren't that many shelves. There's only like two shelves, so <laughs> I guess they're all favorite shelves. But on top here, we have some various um, collectible stuff. Uh, this is a popcorn and drink holder from the Rise of Skywalker movie. Came out in 2019. We got a Pikachu Happy Meal up here. Uh, Pokemon cereal. This is from Galaxy's Edge. I I uh, made that droid at Galaxy's Edge in Disney World. Uh, not Disney World. Well, in Disney, you know. The um, well, it's called Galaxy's Edge. So yeah. And this is a crocheted, I think, Baby Yoda, made by my other friends now ex-girlfriend so there's that i have that that was a wedding present for me and my wife last year so very cool all right now let's get into some of these figures on this shelf here you can see we've got quite a few to go through and as you can also see a big sword art online fan so let's go ahead and get through these we've got Asuna from alfheim online we've got uh lisbeth from gun gale these came with the uh, PlayStation 4 Hollow Realization Collector's Edition. Very cool figures. Love those. We got a Master Chief down here. Very nice. I like this one a lot, actually. It's one of my newer figures. We've got a waifu section. Just a bunch of random chicks from Sword Art Online um, in bathing suits. And we've got uh, some My Hero Academia stuff down here. We've got uh, Todoroki and Uraka. And then my newest figure, freaking awesome, Star Wars, I think it's called Unleashed, General Grievous. They're from like 2006. Saw this in a random comic shop on vacation down in Tampa. Saw it and bought it immediately because it was really cool. All right, so those are the, the figures. We'll show this figure here also. This is a, a Skyla figure from Pokemon Black and White. She's a gym leader. And moving on down here to the other shelves. I also like to collect soda stuff. And since I'm a Jacksonville Jaguars fan, this is from the inaugural season in 1995. Limited edition Cokes with Jaguar logos on there. Here's some other various Coke stuff um, from the Coke store in Orlando. You've got this one with a bunch of languages. Little suit and tie with a polar bear hat on it. And then two Stranger Things ones. These came out from uh, along with season three of Stranger Things. Special edition Cokes. And it also came with a new Coke, which was really big in the 1980s. And fun fact, this randomly exploded one day. <laughs> I came in here and this whole area, the bottom leaked all down with just, just Coke everywhere. And there's a little tiny, tiny hole somewhere on that can that all the Coke spewed out of. I wasn't in here when it happened. I just happened to notice it and then I thought that was uh, pretty strange. Down here is my Mountain Dew area, which as you can tell, huge Mountain Dew fan. 
We got my favorite Mountain Dew soda ever, Mountain Dew Pitch Black 2. Newer one, Major Melon. This is a Japanese can. Frostbite. That's a Violet, Japanese exclusive. Here's a little Hot Wheels. Mountain Dew truck. Uh, bottle from 2008. And in the back, we have Mountain Dew Doritos, an Australian exclusive. And next one over here is some various soda stuff as well. A Thermal Detonator from Galaxy's Edge. Cyberpunk uh, Rockstar. Dasani. And that back there is a Publix bottle from the 1980s. Very cool. Very cool. All right, so now we're going to move over to the entertainment area. As you can see, this is the setup I'm working with here. Got two stands on either side of the um, TV stand. And let's go ahead and look through. I'll just show you a quick glance of some of the stuff that I have on DVD. Um, here's the first little set of rows. Got the, the uh, first six movies of Star Wars by next to some random other DVDs I've been given for Christmas because I don't really buy DVDs anymore besides stuff like this. Um, all the Teen Titans seasons, some of the Young Justice stuff, um, complete series of Avatar on DVD, and some of uh, Legend of Korra. And then down here further, we have the complete series of Legend of Korra on Blu-ray and a complete series of Avatar on Blu-ray, as well as some other random miscellaneous stuff and other um, Mountain Dew can because I couldn't fit it over here and other stuff. And then down here is my Nintendo stuff, my Nintendo games that is, almost all exclusively Pokemon, topped by a uh, controller, custom controller my, my wife had made for me. Um, but yeah, you can see all my Pokemon games um, dating back to, I think, Diamond is the earliest one I have. And then over here we have some sword, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Snap. And then this is a Nintendo DS Lite right here. All right, so here's the TV. 50 inch uh, Sony, I don't remember the exact model or what it's called, but it's from 2017, I believe. So nothing too crazy there. And then let's get down here to systems. We have a Nintendo DS stand, which you can put all your games in here, but I choose to keep them inside the cases over there. And then here is my Nintendo DS XL. Pikachu one. I think it's from like 2013. It's pretty old at this point. 2012, actually. Wow, it's a lot older than I thought it was. And next to it is my main source of entertainment, which is literally on every single day, unless I'm like out of town. And that is my Xbox One X. And look at this. Don't ever get like a black thing. I just, I literally dusted this like three days ago, and then I dusted it again before this video. And you can see it's already like, it's already dusty. You gotta love it. This is Project Scorpio Xbox One X. Um, this is like one of the like the first rendition of this you could get, and pretty cool. I like it a lot. Oh, that reminds me, we got to go back and look at the Xbox controller wall. I completely missed that. Okay, sorry about that. So next to this shelf right here, you can see I have a bunch of Xbox controllers, and if I take a step back, you'll be able to see that it essentially goes almost to the roof there. There's all of them. I think there's ten on the wall right there. So let's go ahead and look through those real quick. I completely miss them. I don't know why. It's one of my favorite things. I, I love collecting these. I think I have like 15 different limited edition ones. So let's start down here at the bottom with the Xbox One, day one, 2013 edition. Came with like the first batch of the Xbox Ones you could get, obviously. This is the Project Scorpio one that came, by, came with the Xbox One X that I have over there. Here is a Titanfall one. I believe this is my first one for the Xbox One besides the day one edition that came with it. But um, this is one of my first ones I bought. This also came out in 2013, I believe. And then next up here we have a Cyberpunk 2077. It's kind of meh. The design is just it's just plain. Take it or leave it, I guess. We've got the uh, Sport White controller. Very nice. Sport Red controller. Very nice. I love this one a lot. But I don't use any of these controllers. They're just for display. We have a Halo 4 or 5, I don't recall. You can see this guy, the UNSC right here. And then this is like a, gosh, I don't remember what this one's called. It's like clear plastic fades to white, it's like chalk white or something. I don't know. And then up here, obviously we have a Minecraft Creeper. And the very top is a blue one that fades to black. I don't remember what it's called, but yeah. That's the controller wall. Forgot to mention that and forgot to show it. So let's get back to the consoles. Also, right, there is my Project Scorpio Xbox One X, and I use Astro A20 headset with it. 
Um, it's just one I happened to find in a GameStop. It happened to be a Call of Duty one. I didn't even pick that. It just happened to have it. Right next to it, we got my charging dock with my uh, controller. My wife also got this for me. Um, this is my logo, my channel. Um, you can actually buy these stickers on eBay. Link in the description down below if you want to spice up your cell phone case or your controller. But I use this one to just sit here and charge. It's got the battery pack on the back. And so whenever I need to swap them out, I'll just swap them out. And I got a 3 terabyte hard drive because, you know, storage is always needed. Down here, my Xbox 360 with a Pikachu uh, little lamp type deal. This is almost never on, but I thought I'd throw it on for the video because I like to have stuff like lighting up up the room because lighting in here is actually not amazing <laughs> and then over here we have the let's go pikachu and let's go eevee nintendo switch that i bought because i didn't have a switch before that game came out you know they kind of force you to buy those new consoles in order to uh play the new pokemon games which is really all i ever play on the switch anyways and then right next to it is a playstation 2 because i have a very a couple handful of games that i like to play on playstation 2 that are playstation 2 exclusive all right let's talk about above the TV, you can see there's the TV, and then right above it, we have what I am so in love with. I love these things so much, and I wish I could. I mean, they're really expensive, because I want to put, see, like, they're that size. I want to line this whole top wall with them over here, because there's nothing over there yet. But they're like $40 a piece, because they're made out of metal. These are called disc plates. They're a Polish company, I believe. And there's all sorts of designs for anything you can think of. Avatar Last Airbender, Star Wars, sports stuff, like Harry Potter, all sorts of stuff. So in last year's video, I had these three right here. And then I've since expanded. And now I have these six with the uh, Ahsoka, Din Djarin, and Darth Maul on top there. And next to it, we have a Pokemon Center handmade skateboard by Bear Walker with Umbreon on it. This thing is made out of wood, and it's so sick. I love it. I used to have another one of these, but uh, of Togepi, but I ended up selling it. But I uh, love that thing. So, let me take a step back here so you can get like, the, full, the full picture. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So, moving on a little bit over here. This is something I literally just got like two days ago. This is a signed photo of Asuna from Sword Art Online, obviously, by the English voice actor whose name is Sharon Lee. You can see right there. She signed it. Pretty cool. Waited for that for like five months. It was crazy how long I waited for that. Next to that, we have my shot glass holder, which in last year's video was on a shelf over there. There's a bunch of shot glasses. So I decided to buy one because I was starting to pick up a collection. And this really started as me buying shot glasses for places that I had been before. So I'll point those out here. We have, let's see, the New York one I got myself, Rome, London, Netherlands, uh, let's see, Chicago, and then... Some other people got me stuff, so my wife got me this one when she was in, I forget what it's called, somewhere in Georgia where they shot the Vampire Diaries, which she's a big fan of. It's, it's okay. It's not terrible. It's not great. Uh, this is also on the way. She randomly got me this one, and then I have two Mount Rushmore ones here. Oh, I just hit that one. From my brother who went on a trip there once, and this on top is hand-blown Venetian glass from Venice. Very cool. All right, so let's get to this next uh, tower here. It's got some games, but it's also got some other random stuff. Right here is the YouTube subscriber count. This thing's so cool. Anytime like it changes, um, it'll be like plus 10 or whatever, and then it'll make like a cha-ching sound, which is really sick. I always have it in the background of my videos. Uh, underneath that, we have the DX Racer pillow, which is for my DX Racer monster chair right here, which I don't really ever like to use, so I kind of just put it up in here. On top of this, Hyperkin Duke controller. This is like a remake of the original xbox controller and this little part right here is an led screen it lights up with the xbox logo and then down here underneath is a couple more of mountain dew bottles that i don't have room for over there we got major melon and probably one of the best ones they've made in years it's called mountain dew spark and it sucks because it was super exclusive and only you could get it at um speedway gas stations which is really weird and dumb so i was only able to ever try it once and i had two bottles so I put the other one on display. And here's the, these are the games that I like to play on PlayStation 2. Start to Daytona, Smuggler's Run, and Shadow of Colossus, which I do know has a remake on PlayStation 4, but uh, I like the old version. And then down here we have my Xbox One games. Most of them Madden, um, which I don't buy anymore because Madden sucks because they haven't improved it in years. Various other stuff. And then down here, some Xbox 360 games. There's 
Apollo Realization, and a Halo Steel Case. All right, so now we're gonna go over to the office area or the desk area. This is it right here. You see, I got my ring light up there. Just to get a little more light in this room. But uh, here it is. This is where all the magic happens. All where I record all my Pokemon videos and where I edit and do some work. Uh, oh, I forgot about this little sword and shield pendant thing over here. So let's start with the chair. This thing I actually didn't buy. I traded in monster tabs for it. They had a promotion back in 2019. You could trade in monster energy can tabs for different prizes. This one was like 500 tabs. So very cool. I love this chair a lot. It's really nice. And so me and my wife, we made this desk in here. Um, we took the closet doors off and uh, built the desk so I could have more space in this room because it's only like a 10 by 10. It's not that big. And then we'll take a look over here. Here's my laptop. MSI is what I use. Uh, i7 processor, nothing too fancy. Um, this is the, the mat for my card openings. So they don't get you know scratched. The Shining Legends mat. This custom... Uh, Legendary Lee 3D printed thing my wife got me. A uh, little poster in the back of different Pokemon games through the years, all the way up until X and Y in 2013. We've got, um, you know, Darth Vader mouse pad in there with the standard S <laughs> Logitech mouse. One of the coolest things I have is this um, Xbox, this original Xbox lamp. Look at that. I think it's sick. A guy in the UK made this. He uh, hollows out consoles and turns them into lamps. And I love it. I love it a lot. Um, on this wall, not too much. This is nothing too much. It's just me from graduated from college. There's my tassel from Florida State. Uh, power stuff. This is the knife I used to open up my uh, Pokemon cards. And over here, on this wall, some more shelves. This is a Ultra Saber. Um, metal lightsaber. These things are really cool. I love them. And some more controllers, as you can see. I love my controllers, and these are made with, um, these come with controller gear stands that are meant to charge, but I don't ever use these, so they're really cool display stands. So on the top here, we've got the Mandalorian limited edition Xbox One controller. And then over here, this is a uh, Purge Trooper, I believe, or the Empire. That's another Star Wars one. Down here, this is my favorite one, and this one's super expensive because not a lot of people got it, I don't think. This is a Sea of Thieves one from a few years ago. This one will cost you like $600 nowadays. It's crazy. Never used it. And this little part right here in the middle, it goes in the dark, which is pretty cool. And then over here, we have one from, uh, this is from Star Wars Squadrons. It's just, you know, meh. It's okay. But I have it. And then underneath here, I got some um, stuff from various other YouTubers that I know as friends. There's a Flight Paths, he does some music stuff on my channel, and UCF Jaguar, another one of my friends, um, who does uh, YouTube videos on the Jacksonville Jaguars. So, there's that. Got some posters in here. I think I'm gonna change this back part with the two posters, cause, you know, I just had them and I kinda put them in there when I moved into this house last year. And I kinda wanna do something different there. I'm not sure what. Leave a comment down below what you think I should do with this back wall. I'm gonna take those posters down and do something with it. I want to keep that one because it's a nice backdrop for my Pokemon videos. Let me know. Comments down below. What should I do here? What should I do? And then up top, you know, last video I had all my um, various... Whoa, what's going on with my camera there? It's real choppy all of a sudden. What's going on? We're good? All right, we're good. I had all my various um, console boxes lined up across the top of this to make it look better. But I needed the light to make it look more lit up in here because the light... Up there, look at it, it's gross, so gross. So, um, this is the original Xbox One box, there's the Project Scorpio box, there's the Pikachu 3DS box, there is my Switch box, and there is the Hollow Realization Collector's Edition box on top. And then some other rare, random stuff, like a Superman a Hot Wheels thing, and some popcorn buckets from Rise of Skywalker, and there's my uh, cannon. T6i. I think it's called T6i, right? Let me see. Yeah, T6i. Just making sure I had the right one. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this area. I'm just going to, you know, paper shredder down there for sensitive documents and then uh, just some storage stuff down there. But let's get on to the last part of the tour. Alright, so here we are at the last wall of the tour, which has a door on it. But uh, this little tiny skinny part of wall right here, I had to make use of it somehow, so I decided to make it my 
FSU football area. And as you can see, the top part is just that. We've got a uh, pennant here. This is an old pennant from like the 1980s. It's really cool. Um, signed, Jameis Winston picture here. This is a pennant from when FSU won the national championship. I know it says 2014 because that's when the game was played, but it's the 2013 national championship. You see up there, January 6, 2014. And then down here, a Bobby Bowden signed football, which is the old head coach who was there for like 30 years or something like that at uh, Florida State. Another um, signed football down here. We actually got to meet Jameis Winston and watch him sign this football. Um, another one over here is full of <laughs> Jaguars players who, off, who also went to FSU, none of which are still on the team. We got Rashad Green over there, Jalen Ramsey, and Telvin Smith, which are not on the team anymore. And then down here, uh, I'm not a Cardinals fan, but I really like Patrick Peterson, so this is a Patrick Peterson signed Cardinals helmet. And then this little shelf right here, you can kind of see, peek through the middle there, it's got various Pokemon uh, products in there. It's for storage, mostly bulk. And then I love these little knobs that I put on here. They're Ford uh, knobs. I took the old ones off and put some Ford ones on there because, you know, I drive a Mustang and I, I love Ford. And then over here, this I wasn't going to address this at first, but this stack of Pokemon cards. This is my bulk from all my openings. And you know, when it gets to the, the top, I package it up and I send it off to Darium's Pokemon so he can give me some store credit. I buy more Pokemon cards. It's an endless cycle. It's an endless cycle. Yeah, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's game room tour. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully by 2022, I'll have some more cool stuff in here. Hopefully I'll have some of those you know, up along this wall up here. But uh, I guess we'll see. Time will tell. But uh, thanks, you guys, so much for watching. If you're interested in Pokemon card stuff, I uh, highly recommend hitting that subscribe button down below. Otherwise, you know, you're probably not just going to, you're probably not going to enjoy the stuff I do here. But uh, thanks for watching. If you did like it, leave a like. Don't forget to comment, which I do with these, this area over here and these posters. You know, I need some help with that because I don't really know what I'm going to do with that area. But uh, yeah, until next time, stay legendary.